Hi, y'all. This is Rachel Hernandez, a.k.a. Mobile Home Girl of the Adventures of Mobile Homes podcast. Thank you so much for joining me here on another episode of the show. Today, we have another guest interview for you, a special guest. So today, I'm going to talk with Veronica Gilbert, who is the Strategic Director Director of Strategic Partnerships for LeadGeeks.com. And today, Veronica is going to share her story um, her skip tracer story, because she has a background in skip tracing, and also her insight into the real estate industry when it comes to generating leads for mobile home investors. Because honestly, generating leads is one of those things that takes up a lot of time and money, especially when you're first getting started as a mobile home investor. So Veronica is going to share her insight on the subject today and also teach you how you can actually find and generate leads to save you more time and money in the end. So without further ado, welcome to the show, Veronica. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for coming on the show, uh, Veronica, to talk all things lead generation with the listeners of the podcast. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and then your background? I know that we had talked, you have a background in skip tracing and also how you got into the real estate industry. Sure. So I started skip tracing a very long time ago, back in the 80s. And um, it was a whole different world back then. You know, it was really pre-internet and, and things were, were very, very different. When you wanted to find uh, a person, and I didn't actually start in real estate. I started with a, a few different things, uh, credit companies, uh, car repossession companies, even worked in the child support field for a while, locating people who had some sort of a debt. Um, and that's where I got my start in skip tracing. And skip tracing was the way to find people for whatever reason back then. Years progressed. Um, and then I wound up getting involved in um, what became house flipping um, or investments. And at the time when I started years ago, skip tracing was really the big thing. Um, it was before what we have now with this explosion of the internet, with social media coming along, um, with what, you know, we call SEO and PPC, which is, you know, kind of a Google based thing you can touch on a little bit. But, um, it was a different world, let's say seven, eight, nine, ten years ago. If you wanted to locate someone, including, uh, the owner of a vacant house, you would skip trace. Basically, you found a house that's boarded up or long grass, whatever it was, and um, you would start to skip trace that person. And that was the way to do it back then. Then what happened is the Internet really exploded. Everything we do, we do on the Internet. If you're going to do something, if you want to sell your house, if you have a boarded up house that's in a pre foreclosure, let's say, um, and this goes, you know, true with mobile homes. The first thing a person is going to do is they're going to jump on the Internet. They're going to jump on Google and they're going to find some kind of a website in regard to we will buy your house. This is what happens now. Now, especially, we know, the market has changed since COVID, whether it's single family homes, mobile homes, whatever it happens to be. Real estate has really exploded and Years ago, if something was you know, distressed or uh, boarded up or whatever it happened to be pre foreclosure, it was a very different ball game because people weren't able to sell things. And I kind of use the, for instance, if you saw a boarded up abandoned house years ago, no, there's nothing that could be done with it at a lot of time unless an investor got their hands on it. Now, in this day and age, Real estate is so different that you will go and see on the internet, on Zillow, MLS, whatever it happens to be, you'll see boarded up houses because people will buy them and real estate agents will actually list them. So it's a very different world now. And what happened was I noticed that skip tracing just wasn't cutting the mustard. And um, it's what worked for a very long time. But it wasn't the future. And so I got involved with marketing company, Lead Geeks. 
And um, they had originally hired me to help them find investors, kind of skip trace investors. And then I got into the marketing side and I could see this is the future. This is the way to find homeowners, mobile homeowners, whoever it happens to be, is for an investor to get involved with mailers and skip tracing, things like that. It, it's, it wasn't the way things were going. The way things are going is marketing people will do lead generation. Investors, wholesalers will buy those leads and have a direct connection to somebody who's motivated to sell. Okay, great. So let's take it back a notch because we've been talking about um, some of these terminologies. Let's talk mm -hmm. about the difference between skip tracing versus mm -hmm. lead generation. What's basically the difference between them? So skip tracing is you have to go out and find the people yourself. So if you see, uh, you know, a, a mobile home, let's say, let's say it's on a, a piece of property. We'll just use that. And, and you see a mobile home, it looks distressed, it looks empty. You're going to go look for those people. You don't know if they want to sell it. You don't know what they're doing with it. But you're going to kind of go give it a shot. You're going to locate their information through skip tracing, which is a lengthy process. It takes, you know, years to, to learn. And then if you do find them, you're going to hope that they're motivated to let go of the mobile home. Lead generation is something completely different. Lead generation is the people come to you that want to sell something. So, for instance, somebody has a mobile home. Um, they, they want to sell it for whatever their reason is, distress, not distress. But for some reason, they want to sell it, especially they're looking for a cash offer. They don't want to list it necessarily on real estate, uh, MLS, or Zillow, or maybe they just can't for whatever reason. The first thing people will do is jump on Google and say, sell my mobile home. And of course, they're going to come up with websites for investors who will look to buy mobile homes. That's where we come in. They'll come to a website like one of one of ours. And we have many, many websites as well. They'll come to one of our websites, enter their information, wait for an investor to call them to discuss helping them with a cash offer, sale, whatever it happens to be. That information goes directly over to our investors and they take it away. Okay, great. So are you saying that a lot of not just real estate, um, not just for real estate owners for real estate sellers, but also sellers for mobile homes are actually going online now, the internet? Because, you know, back in the old day, it was the be the old, you know, for sale by owner sign, which yeah. we still see. But are you seeing a lot of that also with real estate sellers and also mobile home sellers nowadays? Sure. I actually see it more in the mobile home space than I see it in the single family home space. I think it's because it's still, you know, not only a, a, a niche market, but there are still people who don't really know who would buy this. How do I sell it? It's just, it's, it's not as cut and dry as a single family home space is. So a lot of people find it so much easier to just Google, turn to the website, enter their information and wait for an expert to get in touch with them. So it's really the way to go. We all know when we're looking for something, we're gonna jump on Google. No matter what piece of information that you need, if you're looking up information about a football team, if you're looking up information about a doctor, whatever it happens to be, everybody jumps on Google. And when you do that, you come to these websites and you know that some type of an expert, whether it's a wholesaler, investor, whatever it happens to be, they're going to be the ones who are going to come to you. They're going to make you some type of an offer and they're going to know how to make that transaction happen. So th this is really the way to go. Okay. So my next question, because this is good stuff, this is good information, because I know times change, is, yeah. you know, people get online, whether they're a seller for real estate, let's just get talk about mobile home sellers at this point, mm -hmm. and they get and they see a bunch of websites. I mean, what is your advice to investors out there? Because people have asked me in the past, you know, sure. 
why don't I just do a website and then people will just start coming to you? I mean, is that, is it just as easy as that to put together a website and then, you know, people will find you in Google as an individual in mobile home investor, you know, in this niche? Sure. So the thing is, anybody can put together a website, but if your website doesn't, we call it ranking, if it doesn't rank, then it's going to be at the very bottom under 200 other websites. Um, and it's going to be hard for people to find you. So this is where we'll call without going into too much depth. There's SEO and PPC. Basically, SEO is search engine optimization, meaning as a marketing company, we know how to bring ourselves up on what they call your Google ranking. So basically, somebody types in sell my mobile home, we rank so high that they're going to come. One of the top websites is going to be one of our websites. Second thing is PPC, pay per click, meaning a lot of money goes into ads and people will click on an ad that they see, bringing them to one of our websites. The thing is, two things, very expensive to do. And second, you really have to have a background and know what you're doing with it. And what we say is, what, and even in the, the single family home industry, whether you're buying a, a million dollar home or you're buying a mobile home, whatever it happens to be is, the way the market seems to have gone in real estate is, Everybody does what they've mastered and takes their slice of the pie. And it's it, it's much better in the way of time. So instead of searching for people and you don't know people are, you know, even going to be motivated and doing all these things, you go with lead generation and you're saving all of that time. You're not having to find and master something new. You're a master at flipping, wholesaling, whatever it is. You don't have to now become a master in marketing. Marketing company will do what they do best. Send you sellers who put in their information that they're looking to sell their mobile home. And then you take it away from there. You do what you do best. You invest, you wholesale, you do whatever you're going to do. Yes, exactly. And a disclaimer for anyone listening, I do not have a website for my own mobile home investing business. I just don't do business that way. I prefer to be, um, you know, not as, you know, online because having an online presence for a mobile home, it's like you're in a different business as well, too. Then you've got to weed through all these leads you know, I have thought about it in the past. Oh, just go to my website. But you've got to weed through all these leads. I really do not have that kind of time. I'd rather pick and choose um, the leads that I want to work with when they come in versus all these people coming to me with all these different leads coming to me. You know, that's just one of the things. So I do not have a website. So this is very interesting information. What would you say, Veronica, sets apart the uh, leadgeeks.com versus someone does a search for mobile? You know, I want to sell my mobile home versus all these other websites that come up. So a, a lot of the websites that you're going to see that are going to come up first, there are going to be marketing companies very often. Um because we know how to get ourselves higher ranking in Google, for instance. Um, so really what the difference comes down to is not only, um, you know, the, the difference between what, where we can rank, but it's also when it comes to an individual marketing company, how they handle their marketing and how they sell off their leads. And there are a lot of different companies that will sell off leads in different ways. Some of them will have a bidding system where multiple investors, a lead will come up, they'll bid against each other. Price goes up and up and up and up until the highest bidder gets that lead, which can become, you know, bidding is not easy. Then you have a tier system. Tier system is lead will be sold to an investor on Monday. On Wednesday, the same lead will be sold to a second investor for a different price point. So there's nothing exclusive about it. If you don't have that immediately under contract within 48 hours, you now have competition. 
And we all know if you try to get out there with a contract and the person says, oh, I'm working two long shifts. I can't see you till Thursday. Well, now your competitor comes in. So you really want to know, uh, you know, what that lead generation company offers. The thing that we do, and we believe this is really the only way for an investor to be successful, is we sell leads exclusively. So if you get a lead from our company, you're the only person who is going to see that lead. And that's really, you know, the most important part of, of leads is that you're not taking some information and paying for information that's going to be shared with somebody else. So if that's really kind of the, the differences, the websites are all websites. You go to any website, somebody's going to offer you cash. Um, but it's how that information is distributed to you. That's the most important part. Okay. Yeah, that's good because, um, you know, I have a lot of students who come to me and, you know, they work full time. I mean, everyone works full time and they just sure. don't have time to go out and go and find leads and generate leads on their own and do all these marketing and direct mailers or bandit signs, like all kinds of things. Oh, yeah. And so they end up hiring, you know, individual, whether it's a virtual assistant or mm -hmm. someone locally, but then it comes back, like, I'm just managing them. And what do I say? And that's why I want consulting with you, Rachel. So, yeah. you know, that's the thing, you know, it does take time to learn how to generate leads. And even if mm -hmm. you hire somebody, you know, a virtual assistant or someone locally, you still have to manage them. Because, yeah. you know, this is not what they do. And then you become, like Veronica said, the marketing person. So mm -hmm. for anyone listening, this is an alternative to lead generation. If you just don't have the time, if you are actually, that's why I asked Veronica to come on the show. So busy. You have your work. You have your full-time job. You want to concentrate on investing, but you don't want to weed through a bunch of leads and put together a website or get out there and generate leads on your own because it takes a lot of time and money. You know, I've done it. I know what it takes to do it. And it's, you know, I've started this business in 2007 and it's 2023, <laughs> you know, so mm -hmm. you can tell how long it's been. But if you need to get out there, you need to start doing e deals. This is an alternative in terms of generating leads and, you know, picking and choosing the types of leads that you want to generate, not wasting your time. So I'm going to talk to Veronica, have her explain all about Lead Geeks, how it works. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and how do you, do you specialize just in um, real estate leads? Because we had talked about like now there's these mobile home leads that are coming up too. So mm -hmm. what type of leads do you do offer? So um, we are strictly real estate. We've been in business almost eight years now. And that's the only type of marketing we do. People have approached us um, because we're successful to do other types of marketing for them. We just don't do it. Anything that's real estate based is what we specialize in. Um, so when people come to our website, um, you know, they'll fill out a form on the website and the important thing that we do is we define the structure types. So we will ask them, is it a single family home? Is it a multifamily home? Is it a mobile home? And by defining it, you know, people who have a mobile home for sale will be filtered into basically a, you know, bucket. And then the lead um, will go out to the investor in that area. We're able to break it down to county. So you don't have to buy leads in an entire state. You can give us a county and say, I just want uh, this lead in this, these leads in this specific county. And um, that you're guaranteed is going to come right in that area. Um, we also guarantee that the phone number is good on our leads. And we guarantee that they are not listed on MLS, which is part of um, our refund policy as well. That's okay. Okay. 
Okay, great. And so let's talk specifically about these mobile home leads. I think you had told me that you've seen the leads and how mm-hmm. are they filtered out? Because, you know, in like within mobile home investing, you can have mobile homes attached to land and then you can have mobile homes not attached to land as personal property, whether they're in a community or they're not in a community. How do these leads get filtered out once they come in the raw data, do y'all go back and you just kind of verify all the information? How does that work? No. So basically they're asked a series of questions. Um, and the thing is a lot of investors, whether it's single family or whether it's mo- um, mobile homes, uh, they want to be the first person on the phone. So we ask all of our questions through our website. And then that information goes directly over to our investors by text message by email, and if they have a CRM, we'll integrate with the CRM uh, as well. So we'll ask those series of questions. When it comes to mobile homes, it could be one of any of these. It could be a mobile home that's in a park. It could be a mobile home that's on a piece of land that needs to be moved. It could be a mobile home that is being sold with the land as well. Um, And I know, you know, from what I've studied in the mobile home industry is, there are different investors who prefer different things. I've worked with investors who only want a mobile home in a park. That's their forte. I've worked with investors who only want the mobile home that has to be moved from one piece of land to their piece of land to be rehabbed and then moved again. So people do have their preference. Um, I know of investors who will actually buy the leads and then sometimes do some type of a a JV situation if they prefer a park and the lead happens to be on a piece of land and it needs to be moved, they'll work together with that person and both takes their, uh, you know, their piece of the pie to say, but the leads could be one of of any of those uh, three. Okay, great. And my other question is, do you have people who are selling like mobile home lots? Because I know there's people or land that's already, you know, ready for a mobile home. I mean, we talked about mobile home on land, right? With the land. Um, Do you see those types of leads that come in? Because I know there's people who are interested in those types of opportunities as well, too. So twice I've actually had people come to us who were selling an entire mobile home park. Um, that has happened. I have had people who, um, they're selling, I don't know the best description for it. They're, they're lot basically. They're selling like a, a, a little piece of a lot. They may be taking their own mobile home off of it. They could be, uh, keeping the mobile home there. But for the most part, 98% of the time, it's going to be one of those first three that I mentioned. Okay, great. So let's talk about the whole process. You know, if there's anyone listening here who is interested in these leads, we talked about, you know, the process of, you know, going through the data, making sure the data is, you know, confirmed, making sure the phone number works and all that. So anyone listening, how do they sign up for these leads? Do they get put on a list or do they have to actually sign a form uh, online to kind of tell you what their criteria is? And also my last, my other question is, um, you know, is this all states? Is this nationwide or specific areas of the country? So we are nationwide and we can provide leads nationwide. Um, As I said before, the leads are broken down uh, by county. So what happens is a person, and first of all, there's no long-term contract. You're not bound to a contract in any way. We're big believers in that. Some companies do try to do that, take huge deposits, put you on a contract. We don't do that. Um, so what happens is we have you, and I am the direct person in regard to mobile homes currently that, that you would, you would speak to. So you'd actually be getting in touch with me. We set you up on a monthly budget. Three leads per month is the minimum that we'll set up an account for. And then we'll set up your area. And of course, we know you're going to be set up on mobile homes. Um, the leads anywhere in the country are $60 per lead, flat pay per lead, 100% exclusive. 
what we do is we take a deposit. It's called your piggy bank. And we take um, a two lead deposit, $120 deposit, nothing tremendous. Um, we take that deposit. When your lead comes in, when the lead goes to you, the $60 comes out of your piggy bank. Next lead comes in, $60 comes out of your piggy bank. Before the next lead comes in, we would take the next $120. Um, again, you set your budget. So you can set it for three leads a month, 10 leads a month. It's completely up to you. We don't know if you'll re. So let's say you're somebody who, who's a heavy hitter in the industry and you want 15 leads per month. We will never go over 15 leads per month, but you may wind up with 10 leads per month. And that's all that you'll be charged for at any time. Um, you can pause your account when you need to. If you decided you wanted to cancel, all we uh, require is seven days notice. You send your cancellation into our support team. The only other lead you would get is anything that came in, in the next seven days. And then your account is uh, completely canceled. Any money left in your account, you can request a refund and it goes right back to you. We try to keep it as simplified as possible. Again, um, we don't get involved with bidding or tiers or lead sharing. It's just a straight, flat, paper lead situation. And then we tell people, you know, then it becomes you how seasoned you are at wholesaling, investing, whatever it happens to be. You, I've had people buy leads and on the first lead, they'll, they'll somehow they'll convert it. Um, it may take a couple of leads, but at the end of the day, remember, these the leads are inexpensive. And I'm going to give you, a, for instance, single family home leads. I have an area where one lead, one area in California, one lead is $400. And, you know, mobile homes, to me, this has become, and this is why we're, I'm even pushing this a little bit further. We've never put so much into mobile homes. I see a lot of future in mobile homes, the way real estate is going, um, not very affordable these days. A lot of people may find mobile homes is just is such a good, good way to go. Um, and then it's an affordable way to get started in the industry with leads that are not so expensive. So, you know, you realize if you're wholesaling, let's just say you're wholesaling um, five leads, you know, would be $300, but you may turn around and make a couple of thousand dollars on that deal. And the thing is, you know, you're not spending time chasing people. And that's why at the beginning, when we discussed skip tracing, it was really a lot of chasing people because there was no other alternative. It was straight up chasing people. And then once you find them hoping that they're going to sell what they have, um, in this case, it's very simple. Somebody came to us because they need to do something with this mobile home. Wonderful thing is mobile homes are actually the leads are even better than single family homes more often because people there, there's not, a, you know, as much competition. There's not, uh, as much with people. Oh, let me just list it. Let me just listen with a real estate agent. That just doesn't work a lot of times. So people are super motivated. And that's what I like about these leads is it is the motivation level for them, with them. Exactly. And honestly, real estate agents, they don't know what to do. I mean, I work with agents from the dealerships and they like, Rachel, this person needs to get rid of this home and take it off their land. And they don't, they don't even want to deal with that because the good ones they will spend their time on what they know best. And usually it's single family home, real estate, yep. bread and butter, you know, yep. in a decent neighborhood. So I believe it. I believe it. You know, I mean, honestly, people spend a lot. I mean, I've spent a lot of time with lead generation, marketing, and that's just locally. So I can't even imagine all the time spent trying to do it online, make a website, you know, all that, right? And trying to rank. And trying to rank. Yeah. And then you're not even investing anymore. You're trying to learn how to market. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. 
So, you know, this is what, you know, I, I tell everyone the story of my first deal that it took me um, almost a year to find oh. and do my first mobile home deal. And I had to do all the lead generation techniques, all the marketing, you know, everything, you know, talking to all these people almost a year to do it. Had I given up, I probably wouldn't be here on the podcast <laughs> um, having the show. So I believe it. So honestly, for anyone listening out there, this is actually a good option to maybe you just want to try it out because as Veronica mentioned, there is no uh, contract, which I do like, and you keep it very, very simple to try it out. Maybe do it for a month or two or three months, or I would give it a good six months and find and, you know, get those leads and work those leads. And I'm here, you know, if you need help with how do I work with these leads? How do I talk to these people and all that? But it's, you know, really, if you don't have the time, you don't have the money to go out there and learn this stuff on your own and generate leads on your own and do all that. And you just want to start doing deals right away and just having the leads come to you. This is a good alternative in terms of just starting up with your mobile home investing business. So I want to talk to you, Veronica. I mean, you see a lot of investors. I mean, how much time do you think investors put into their own lead generation and marketing oh. efforts versus online and locally, you know? <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah. It, you, well, let's put it this way. We have a hundred hundred and almost 120 investors and a lot of them have been buying for years just in the single family home space reason is they don't do the marketing they know it's a money you have to have a background you have to understand how to make these things work how you know how to get yourself up on rankings or the money to put into you know paid ads and things like that they're not going to do it it's just very simple they're going to pay somebody to send them motivated sellers and they're going to do what they do best and they're going to invest in their homes. So um, I, I really don't know very many who are doing them, doing their own uh, SEO and PPC. Some investors will try it, but they're the ones who also, they have quite a bit of money to invest into their marketing side, which, you know, not everybody does. And that's why to start out, um, with leads that are very affordable is really the best way to go. And then I've also had this happen quite often. People will buy leads. Sometimes they'll say, let me see if I can do this myself. And then six months later, they're right back saying, forget it. <laughs> that, that wasn't for me. I'm not a marketing person. I'm spending more time trying to figure out how to be a marketing person than actually investing. And they scrapped that whole idea. And then uh, they go back to buying leads. So it's really, you know, you do what you do best. You do the investing. We'll do the marketing. And it's pretty much just as simple as that. The best part, though, that I like about this is it's a it's a very these leads are very affordable for people. Very different than, you know, some of the other types of leads. These are affordable. Great way to start. Um, and like I said, you're going to get three different types of leads and you can always work with somebody. Even if you get a lead, that's not your niche. There's always a way to monetize on it. You know, I have somebody who says, um, you know, their forte is buying a mobile home and having it moved. That's their thing. Um, I have people who buying a mobile home in a park. That's their thing. But what, happens is you know they can make fantastic joint venture connections especially when you wind up with a mobile home I'll give you a, for instance mobile homes on a piece of land you can have a um mobile home investor wholesaler whatever happens to be working alongside somebody who is a single family home or a land investor the investor will want to buy the land can put that under wholesale contract, make money off of the land. And very often the investor goes, can you just get the mobile home off the property? Just take it. Now you've got a free mobile home on top of the money that you made getting involved with the land. So, you know, at the end of the day, people with mobile homes, really, they all have a situation. 
And if you're the person who can solve their problem or their need, you can do very well. And again, because this isn't just um, a situation like single family homes where it's just one thing. We have to sell a house. Obviously, your land comes with a house and that's it. Mobile homes have different aspects to them. And even if you have something where you have expertise, great, you hold on to that. But then you may have something that can bring in an additional revenue stream involving whether it's land or whether it's being that person who knows how to move mobile homes, which, you know, from from what I'm understanding, and again, I'm no mobile home expert, from what I'm understanding is, um, you know, moving a mobile home, There, it involves what's the year of the mobile home, is there metal on the mobile home that there's there's different things involved um but you may come across somebody or work with somebody or be that person who's like oh that's what i do i know what to move how to move it you know who to talk to so there's a a lot of ways to monetize in the mobile home industry that's it's, it's very intriguing to me because you can be an expert in one of kind of three different things and um you you do what you do best, whether it's parks or moving, whatever. And then you can, you know, joint venture. You can even be involved in a single family home in, investor again who's looking for land. So a lot of opportunity uh, out there for sure. Yes, exactly. And that's what I love about mobile homes. You have options. That's why they're called mobile homes, because they're mobile. Right now, I've got three yeah. wholesale uh properties under contract and one of them we already found a buyer and this mobile home needs to be moved out of the park so basically the buyer knows well they got to move it they've got a piece of land you know but yes with mobile homes you can do you have options that's what i like yeah. and and going back to lead generation basically knowing how to do what i do knowing how to generate leads market and all that you can learn on your own but it takes time but also you also have to have the right personality to do it as well too you know yes. that's the thing so if you are out there you don't have a lot of time um and you want to be very wise with the t the money that you have and you know that Maybe you don't want to go out and do all these lead generation techniques out there that I do um, because it does take a lot of time and you want to focus on your full time job and you want to stick to your budget. Maybe this is an option. And like Veronica said, I mean, one deal, one lead is going to pay for itself, obviously, you know, depending on what you do with the home, whether you buy and hold the home or you wholesale like what I've been doing a lot lately wholesaling or just bird dogging it to another investor doing a joint venture. Maybe there's an investor in your area who has land or maybe a park owner. They need homes in their park. Well, you can, you know, bird dog it to them. You can wholesale it to them, you know, so you have options, but that lead, you know, what you pay for that lead, what Veronica is talking about, you know, it's going to pay for itself. And also, I just wanted to say, this is a way for you to start getting the experience to just go out, get these leads, you know, go go call these sellers, meet with these sellers, or if you have to do it virtually, talk to these sellers on the phone and start putting deals together. Like what Veronica said, you can do what you do best, which is investing and not spend so much time and money, because believe me, it takes a lot of money and time to market, learn how to generate leads and all that. Veronica, I want to talk about, we've been talking about lead generation more on the local end, like what I do, but you know, these, you know, it does take time. I mean, you would think um, also to generate leads online, you know, because some people think, well, I can just go throw up an ad you know, uh, on an online service like Craigslist or or any of these online sites and all that, and then have people come to me. What do you say to people who who are thinking about that? You know, just throwing up ads all over the internet. Sure. <laughs> I say, get ready for the competition. That's what I say. Is <laughs> you know, once you're you're putting yourself out there, you, you're with everybody else who's doing the same thing. Um, you know, whether you're, you know, you're putting up that you'll buy a property from somebody or whether you get a property and you're, you know, putting it out there, whatever it happens to be, it's just the, putting it out there means everybody's putting it out there. The thing about specific lead generation is the fact that it's exclusive. 
it's you, it's the mobile homeowner. And that's, you know, that's it. There's no, uh, you know, lead sharing. There's nothing like that. So, you know, it's just you and them. And as long as you can solve their problem, because it's important to remember, they came to us. Nobody searched for them. Uh, nobody, you know, was hoping, let me find them and let me hope there's some kind of a motivation. No, they're motivated for whatever reason, the mobile homeowner, to go out and to search for us, somebody who can help them with this mobile home. For whatever reason, they needed help with it or they just want the cash offer or it's just not something that would fit with a real estate agent. Whatever it happens to be, they're the ones who came to us and it's just a straight one on one thing. They know that they have to do something with their mobile home. They need one person who knows how to help them solve that problem with selling this mobile home. And it's you and them one on one. And that's the really the, the most important thing and the thing that people like uh, about lead generation itself you know it's funny um years ago i had gone to one of these big coaching things you want to check things out single family home related many years ago and um when you go to the door it's a well-known one you go to the door they'll ask you hey listen you know we're just wondering what's your background what brought you in here so a lot of people say oh i'm a real estate agent i want to invest or a uh, I'm a wholesaler when I buy whatever. And then I step up and they said, well, what do you do? I said, well, I have a background in skip tracing, but I've recently, this is when I first started, I, I've gone into lead generation and marketing. What the man said, just put a light bulb on. He said, oh, you're the money girl. <laughs> Meaning you're really the person who brings in the dollars to the investment. Because at the end of the day, um, you can have, a lot of expertise and a lot of different things involving the sale of a house or a mobile home, whatever it happens to be. But if you can't find anybody who wants to sell, you're not making any money. And that's just the straight up bottom line. Yes, you can have years in the industry and then have a lot of contacts, which you know, Rachel, that takes years to establish having contacts and then, you know, having those referrals. It takes a very long time to have something like that happen. Um, but in the meantime, like you say, and it's, you know, really has gets to the heart of lead generation, it took a year for your first deal, an entire year for your first deal. Why not have the, the deals just land in your lap with, from day one and you, you take it away from there? So that's where the money is. It's finding the motivated people. And that's what lead generation is about. And that's its purpose. Exactly. And I just want to reiterate, I do like that piece uh, that the leads, the mobile home leads are exclusive to yep. investors. So no one else, once you purchase that lead, no one else is going to have access to that lead. That's basically your yep. lead um, to do what you want to it. So I do have a question because we talked about how people can get set up and all that. What if they want to up the amount of leads that they want per month? How does that work? Are you on a like certain cycle? Like, is it a monthly cycle, quarterly cycle? Um, how does that work if they actually want more leads <laughs> every month? Sure. You can change your budget up or down at any time that you want with a simple email to support. Support takes over after I've established, you know, your account and got you set up. So let's say you you start out with four leads per month and you can even break it down to say, I, I, Four leads per month, no more than one lead per week. You can break it down. So if you're, let's say you're in a high traffic area where there's a lot of mobile homes being bought and sold type of a situation, and you don't want your four leads to come in in the same week, we can break it down so you cannot get more than one lead per week type of a situation. But then let's say it's going well, you want to bump it up to 10 leads per month. It's a simple email to our support team. And within 24 hours, they will change that budget to what you want. Higher, lower, whatever you want. Okay, great, great, great. Yeah, I just wanted to see what the process was in terms yeah. of some people have already signed up, and they want to kind of bump up the leads and all that. So sure. we're getting to the end of the interview here, and I wanted to just go over 
if anyone wanted to, you know, get more information, get in contact with you, how would they go about doing that? Um, if you could let us know how to get a hold of you, your socials, website, and all that. So, sure. Um, really, the the best way because um, I am going to kind of be the the person leading this in with the mobile homes is to directly email me because um, I am going to be in charge of signing up uh, the investors in the mobile homes. So very simply is to just email me veronica at leadgeeks.com. Just mention you saw me on Rachel's podcast. And then we start the conversation, see your areas, you know, what your needs are, what your budget is. And, um, and then we get you set up directly from there. Okay, great. Yeah. So y'all um, listen to her uh, contact in terms of her email address. I will put everything here in the show notes uh, for this podcast, like all of my episodes. And I just kind of want to end it with a note with Veronica. Do you have any advice on people who are maybe either they're just starting out as mobile home investors, or they've been in the business for a while, and they're kind of, you know, you know, they want to see, you know, what the best way, what the best option to generate leads. Maybe they're not doing as many deals as they want, or they're just kind of yeah. starting out. Do you have any advice for these folks getting started or who've been in the business for a while who are looking at this topic, lead generation? Sure. So, I mean, if you've been in the business for a while and you know, understand the investing point of it, um, if you know where your strength is, whether, again, it's buying a mobile home in a park or it's buying it with land or being, but whatever it happens to be, once you've established that, obviously, if you're brand new to this, you want to, you know, get in touch with Rachel. And uh, the reason, let me explain some. I've spoken to people, gurus <laughs> in mobile home. Okay. I noticed that the people who are out there very often, and I'm not saying there are good people, but the people who are out there who are a guru, but they're not investing or wholesaling themselves. They don't have the, the quality, the teaching ability of somebody who's currently doing it. That's why I like Rachel because she's oh, I'm at this under contract. I'm doing that. I'm doing this. She's the boots on the ground person. That's why we wanted to hook up with Rachel because of that, because we know she is a true expert because she does it day in, day in and day out. If you've already got that expertise, then I just say, listen, lead generation is a necessity because it's not taking away your time and it not, does not have some type of a huge marketing budget. You have control. You can spend money trying to, you know, put up a Facebook ad, let's say. You don't know if anybody's going to respond to it. Now you spent all that money. You haven't spoken to anybody. It might happen, but it's a risk involved. When you do lead generation, not only you're not spending any time, you're not spending, you know, having this huge marketing budget, but you know that it's the, the information that's coming to you. It's exclusive information. It's a person who has some type of motivation because remember, they came to you, not the opposite, but they came to you. Um, and it's not a lot of money in the way of the price of the leads. So it really just all around makes sense. And again, I go back to that story when they say, oh, somebody like you, you're the money person, because that's what it comes down to is you need to have motivated sellers to make money. It doesn't matter if it's single family homes. It doesn't matter if it's mobile homes. It doesn't matter what type of structure it is. You have to be in contact with people who are motivated. Um, and if you don't, if you don't have all the years in the industry, let's say like Rachel has, where she's established a lot of contacts and people come to her because they know she's the person who'll get the job done. If you're at the beginning or you're somewhere in the middle, you need to get to these motivated people somehow. And if they're just not going to come to you organically, then that means you need to have some type of lead generation in place so that the people who are truly motivated, not people you have to go put a bandit sign up that you're hoping doesn't get stolen tomorrow or, um, you know, going 
sending out mailers or chasing people down, you know you're going to speak to somebody who actually came to you. That's your best chances of getting these deals done. Exactly. Exactly, y'all. So definitely check out um, veronicaleadgeeks.com. And I will put her email address, her contact information. And Veronica, I mean, if people just kind of have general questions about these leads, they can definitely contact you with any questions. Um, And if need be, set up some time to chat, uh, whether, you know, on the phone or or whatnot, um, texting, you know, whatever works. Um, If you do have any questions, you know, don't be shy and um, let me know too, if you have any questions, but I hope this has helped this episode, this interview to see, that's why I wanted to bring Veronica on the show to see what other options are there for lead generation. If, you know, you just don't have the time and you don't want to spend all the time and the money to go out and generate leads And, you know, you don't know how long it's going to take to do your first deal versus you've got this option here that the leads are provided to you. They're exclusive. You can try it out and you can just start getting experience as an investor to start talking to. And Veronica made that point, motivated sellers, because that is the key. You've got to talk to motivated sellers. You could be talking to sellers all day, but if they're not motivated, it's going to be really hard to put a deal together that works for you and the seller as a mobile home investor, because let's face it, we're in here to make a profit. All right. So, well, that's it for the show. Thank you so much, Veronica uh, Gilbert with leadgeeks.com for coming on. If y'all have any questions for her, all her contact information will be in the show notes and I will see y'all next time. This is Rachel Hernandez a.k.a. Mobile Home Girl with the Adventures of Mobile Homes podcast, signing off. Thanks. Bye-bye.